Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Nicole. Just absolutely shocking what has happened to the city. Completely devastating. Obviously, we just experienced a similar situation in Grand Rapids, and now we're here in Kalamazoo. Nothing that we ever want to see in the communities here in West Michigan, but this is the reality. I want you to take a look because this is the courthouse here in Kalamazoo. You can see that this was hit. If we take a closer look, you can see some of the glass shards that are still on the ground. Um, not much as a lot of it was picked up, but we do have boarded up doors and then even if we take a look over here as we step up you can see these windows that have been broken into and if you take a look at I mean this is somebody's office I can see paperwork I can see computers so I mean these are people's businesses this is where people work and uh, just absolutely devastating that this is what has taken place here uh, in Kalamazoo and if we take another look over here we have more windows that were broken into and uh, as we know this was a peaceful protest for most of the night yesterday uh, but then turned violent and now these businesses these cities City businesses are kind of caught in the crossfire. Now, I actually spoke to one business owner who has had a business in the downtown mall for 38 years. Here's her reaction to all of this event. Frustration um, because it's so needless. It was it. We're in a we're in a bad enough situation with the pandemic, and um, it's it's just frustration. I feel that the protesters have every right to feel the way they do. I don't really feel that this was protesters. I think this is opportunists. I think that it was somebody, the videos that they're talking about right now that were down here, there was a group that came down, smashed windows, and were followed directly behind by people that were stealing. And so I don't think we can, so. Now, she and other business owners that I spoke to, and as well as Alyssa, she even said in her last live hit that business owners she spoke to said that they could see their businesses live on air being destroyed um, as we've had crews out here all night. So obviously something that they do not want to wake up to, but the response from the community, strangers, employees has just been remarkable this morning. Of course, we're going to cover it all and show you as this city tries to rebuild and put it all back together. But for now, in Kalamazoo, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News. All right, Savannah, thanks, and officials.